I have never claimed to know everything. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the strawberries. I did a video not too long ago about starting bare root strawberries in your hydroponics. I purchased a ton of strawberries to fill up this entire unit. And as you can see, it's not full anymore. I'm gonna go over some of the things that worked, <laughs> some of the things that didn't work. Please, if you have any tips and tricks and you're like, you're totally doing this wrong, please send me a message down below in the comments. I'd love to read them and try and figure this out. The company that I purchased them from was super gracious. I sent them a text message and explained what my process was of setting them up. I shared the video with them. I was so excited. They came back and said, we don't like those silver things that you have around your strawberries. I love these. They are called reflective covers and I put them around the base of my plants to stop any algae. So initially I started off with the plant probably a little too low and the crown of the plant, which is the base or this bulb section of your plant was getting too much water. I would continuously pull and try and get them to come up so they weren't being saturated. Now another thing is with my units, I run my water on a full rain cycle of 15 minutes on and 45 minutes off. But because these felt like they were getting way too much water, I switched it to 15 minutes on and an hour off. The base or the crown of this plant is still really wet and look at the algae that I'm getting around the base of this. I run fans on them all the time trying to get the crown or the base of the strawberry to dry out. I also didn't trim the roots of the strawberries. I did a lot of watching of other videos and research and some trimmed them and some did not. You can also see there is a lot of brand new root on here as well. There's a lot of really good white root. This one is doing all right, but she's on her way out the door and I've already lost too many. As you can see with this one, this one's already a goner. This keeps happening over and over to the point where I don't have a lot of them left. This is my thought on trying to save my strawberries. I'm taking them out of this unit. Now, it has nothing to do with the iHarvest or any type of stand-up tower. There are plenty of people in different Facebook groups or Instagram photos that I've seen that have grown strawberries very, very successfully. I'm always checking my pH and I'm always checking my EC. The only thing I can think of is they're just getting too much water and I'm using the rapid rooter. Even though I cut this rapid rooter in half, I think it's just holding too much water and I think I need to get rid of those. As you can see down here, I'm doing a deep water culture top. These are actually my garden salsa peppers and they're doing really well, but they're kind of running their course. I still have flowers on them. They're super tall. They're up above the light, so that has to be moved out anyway. I'm gonna take these strawberries, I'm gonna put them in a deep water culture tub and see if we can't save the strawberries. I filled this up with water two days ago. So it's been sitting out at room temperature. I wanted to make sure that the temperature of the water wasn't going to be an additional root shock because I'm changing this whole process. Having this big fancy cabinet behind me, I have a lot of tools in there, my little nifty scissors. What I'm gonna do first is go through and try and trim back some of these roots right down to where I think there is these little root hairs. I'm gonna trim just underneath of that. Now, the other trick is going to be getting out my rapid rooters and I am gonna be losing a few roots. This is gonna be so traumatizing. So the only thing I can do is just sit here and rip out as much of it as I can around the root. Never thought I would be doing hydroponics a year and a half ago, and it's really taken over my life. I have just absolutely love doing it. There is a little bit left of the rapid rooter, but I'm not gonna take that little section out because it is really bound up and it's brand new awesome looking root. This is the only, only time I like clay pebbles. 
is when I'm doing deep water culture. I'm hoping that's gonna help with kind of the drying of the root. But before we go too far, I want to add some food. I'm gonna be switching to this Urban Leaf liquid plant food. I use this actually in my arrow gardens. Not a huge fan of the arrow garden food. It works fine, um, but this is what I switched to quite a while ago. I love the container. You can just squeeze it, see? And it tells me I have a half an ounce of food. I'm gonna put that in there. And we're gonna start with that, and then once the air stone is on and it's kind of bubbling around for a little bit, I'll check it and see where my levels are at. And this is also supposed to help with your pH, so I shouldn't have to balance the pH. I can just test it. This is a really big one. I don't know, you guys. Really, I looked everywhere on hydroponic strawberries. There's not a lot. There are a few videos, so I will give kudos where credit is due, and you know who you are. Because I've watched your videos and I have subscribed to your channels. Oh, this is killing me and it's probably gonna kill the plants. Okay, whatever I can't fit into this because I only have eight slots, I'm going to leave just in the unit and we'll do a comparison and see if I got them to perk up by doing this versus being in that. But I wanted to be fully transparent with you that I don't know everything and I think that is part of the growing experience and being able to look back on it and say, look how far we've come in being able to do these projects together. So let me get this done, get it set up, and then I'll show you my final setup. Here is my new setup. The water just kicked on on those behind me. So if you hear any raining, it's from those. I moved the peppers. You can see I have some really great peppers and I'm using the top lights because this is where all my flowers and everything are right now anyway. So we're using this expandable cheap light that I got on Amazon that seems to be working really well. It's been helping grow these. And then I have the strawberries in the back now and they're all settled in with the Sun Blaster light bar on top and I can lift this up and down. So we're gonna check the water in a couple of hours to see where the levels are um, after the air stone has been running for a while. I just had to get it out there that, you know, not everything is perfect. And the only way that we're gonna learn how to grow is by actually growing and actually trying and making mistakes. If I came across in every video like I was perfect and a know-it-all, you know, would you stick around and watch? I don't know. If you're interested in watching this journey and seeing if these strawberries work, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, then you'll know when I post another video. And I'd love to have you grow with me. So we got these here and I left two up in the other larger unit and we'll do a comparison. We'll see where we are in another month or two and uh, we'll see how it goes.